students welcome to sort of such classes now the problem we have today is given probability of a equal to probability of b equal to p what can we say about probability of a intersection p firstly let us consider the example of a fair coin where a is heads and b is tails we are we are considering the example of tossing a fair coin where the event a is heads and the event b is tails so we know probability of a equal to probability of b equal to half but probability of a intersection b equal to 0 which is less than half times half so we can safely cross out the first option now probability of a intersection b is equal to probability of a times probability of b if and only if a and b are independent this is a known fact from probability theory so in this case we would have probability of a intersection b is equal to p square and we have seen one example where we have less than where we have equality another example where we have less than so the probability of a intersection b can be less than or equal to p square but can it ever be greater than p square we can already cross out this option what we are left to check is does there exist a case where probability of a intersection b is greater than p square so suppose we have events a comma b such that probability of a intersection b is equal to 1 a and b the union of a and b cover the entire space so the probability of a union b is 1 suppose we have such a case then probability of a intersection b is equal to p plus p minus 1 which is equal to 2p minus 1 so suppose now 2p minus 1 is greater than p square this implies p minus 1 square is less than 0 which is not possible it's a square of a number so it has to be greater than or equal to 0 so for such cases we cannot have p of a intersection b greater than p square hence none of the option none of the above is also not the correct option p of a intersection b is always less than or equal to p square equality if and only if a and b are independent so c is the correct option so now let us look at the next problem we have probability of a complement equal to alpha probability of b complement equal to beta and we have to find probability of a intersection b so now from the inclusion execution formula we have p of a intersection b plus p of a union b is equal to p a plus p b p of a intersection b which implies is equal to p of a is just 1 minus p of a complement which is alpha so 1 minus alpha plus 1 minus beta minus p of a union b now p of a union b is less than or equal to 1 which implies minus p a union b is greater than or equal to minus 1 therefore p of a intersection b is greater than or equal to 1 minus alpha plus 1 minus beta minus 1 1 gets cancelled out which implies p of a intersection b is greater than or equal to 
1 minus alpha minus beta. Note that the equality holds when P of A union B is equal to 1 or the A and B covers the entire space. So, option C is the correct answer.